today. Actually, the knowledge is virtue itself. But it becomes virtue when we practice it. And we are more likely to practice it when we are spiritually enhanced. So while fasting we are spiritually enhanced, we seek knowledge, we attain it in a better way, and we are in a position to practice it in a better way. So the first benefit of fasting is that we start copying the great prophets who revealed, who received the revelation. We have a peep in the angelic world. It's the angels who do not eat, the angels do not drink, the angels do not sleep, the angels do not have sex, the angels do not disobey their Lord. This is what we do while fasting. So we get nearer to the angelic nature by fasting. And this is how we understand the Qur'an, the revealed message, in a better way. And we can practice it in a better way. Secondly, the act of fasting makes us learn piety. It makes us learn self-restraint. How? Fasting makes us refrain from daily routine things, from simple water. It's an exercise of obedience. Allah the Almighty stops us from simple water, we stop ourselves. Now how about it if He stops us from taking wine, won't we stop? So, act of fasting makes us learn self-restraint. This is why that uh, it has been known as the word patience. A sabirun had been known the people of the fasts. Sabr, or patience, has been uh, given the meanings of fasting. Then, this act of fasting makes us feel what is hunger, what is thirst, how a poor man lives like. So it gives us a feeling for the poor. This is why that this month is known to be the month of charity. This is the month when the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him used to be to spend on the poor more than the swift winds. He was always giving charity. But in the month of Ramadan he would give charity more than one can even conjecture, one can even think of it. Another important factor is that uh, the act of fasting actually makes us learn that we should eat little and feed more. Makes us feel for the poor and gives us training that we should eat less and feed more. And we are told that if we feed a poor person while fasting, if we make him break his fast in our own house, or give him something to eat, break his fast, give him something to eat in the morning, dawn time, to have suhoor, that gives us as much as reward as much as the reward of a fasting person. So if I feed a poor person then to break fast gives me a reward of the full fast. So it gives us a training to feed more and lead, eat less. I feel, and this is what uh, the great scholar C. Suleiman Nadvi has written, that it gives us the idea that uh, a fasting person feels like taking a food only for once a day and giving the other portion, the second portion. He should take dinner, but about lunch, he should give it to the poor person. So, this is the month of feeding poor person, eating less and feeding more. Thank you very much.